Yo, what it do, people? It's your boy D Bonds 317 coming at you with another hit, another banger. Welcome to the D Bonds show. Like I said, I'm your host, Darnell, aka D Bonds. Uh, I just want to just say I want to give my thank you to the people who are working through this difficult time from the people at the front line, at the healthcare. Uh, at the hospital, this is not like the TV show ER, Chicago Med. Um, I just want to give a big shout out to y'all. I want to give a shout out to the police officers that work in, in the first responder, paramedic, EMT, firefighters, truck, truck workers, uh, truck drivers, uh, people who work in fast food, warehouse workers, people who work in the Amazon, FedEx, all the people that work in the warehouse logistics. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am a truck driver, so I'm out there with y'all. I know what you be going through. We should get hazard pay, of course. Uh, a cop lost her life yesterday. She was 24 years old. She was responding to a domestic call um, where the dude was just shooting through the door. He said there's no real cops outside. He started shooting and hit struck one officer. She was 24, two years on the force. She left. She leave. Uh, she leave behind a son, a mom, and a dad. Uh, this is unfortunate that it happened under this circumstance. There's so much stuff going on right now. Now, there's so much violence still going on, which we should have been pulling together uh, at this time. At any time, any time, most of the time, we have to pull together. There's so much stuff going on uh, from our leaders to run this, if you want to call them leaders, to run this country to the mayor of Indianapolis, to the governor of Indiana, to the governor of Illinois, the mayor of Chicago. Uh, to the mayor of New York, the governor of New York, uh, all these mayors, all these people, uh, the, you can see who can handle the pressure well, who cannot handle the pressure well. Excuse me. It is so much, uh, so much to talk about uh, on a Friday night. Excuse me, I had to get a jerk in. Um, it's unfortunate that stuff is going on that we is not seeing. Um, it's like all, it's like everything is very uncalled for when you look at the situation that's going on in Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, Chicago, New York. California, New Orleans. Uh, they talk about the African community is getting hit hard. They not getting the same test. Only rich people is really getting tests. So it's like, if you got, if you don't got money, it's like, well, fuck you. You know, like that type of way to us is sticking the needle to us. Um, you always gotta wash your hands, build up your immune system, and um, that's the key of it. Build your immune system up, man. Um, it's too much uh, stuff is going on. Uh, too much issues that happening right now is is crazy. Um, you know, my heart goes to the family that lost an officer. I don't agree with the police sometimes, but this is a a woman. She was a African American. She, you know, I I feel that she didn't get the same at press as a a, a white fallen officer will receive. Um, is is crazy to see a, a woman cop get killed. Um, they said it's the second time a woman cop got killed in Indianapolis, and it's it been years ago since the first one got killed. Uh, you know, the cop, every cop will tell you going to domestic call is the craziest thing about it. Um, you know, I, I feel that she's not getting the same oppressed that uh, a lot of a lot of white cops got when they get killed. Uh, you know, she did serve under the same guidelines as them, under the same badge as them, the same umbrella, the, that blue line. But I guess it don't mean them when your skin is a dark complexion than them. Um, if we want to be honest, we can. If we don't want to be honest, I'm not going to share it. Cold shit for people um, at this time. 
It's too much stuff going on to be sugar and cold and too much stuff to show false hope to people. We can't show false hope no more. We got to be real with each other. We can be, it's a different from being false hope and being positive on a lot of stuff. Yes, we will make it out of this coronavirus. False hope is like this coronavirus, this whole thing will been done by tomorrow. That is false hope. It will be done tomorrow. Nobody won't die this tomorrow. We need to stop lying to ourselves when we need to be real with ourselves because it's too much stuff that could go on. Too much stuff that could go on when we listen to stuff like this. I don't understand that, that people will see, well, there's no issue with it. It's, it's nothing. It's it is what it is, you know, this type of thing. If you're not rich and celebrities say uh, you should stay home and you should, you know, be home, you you shouldn't go out, you know, that type of stuff. You know, the people saying the 5G's tower is to blame for this. I, I you know, I 5G's haven't been along, around alone to kill anybody alone to make a data on about this stuff that's the problem with a lot of stuff that goes on in the community is that people share too much nonsense on on facebook you know you gotta turn that stuff off you gotta turn the news off you gotta detox your body your mind you can detox your body but you gotta detox your detox i can't say it you know you gotta let your you know you gotta let your you gotta turn off the TV sometime, you know, reconnect to a book, you know, you can't just, you can't just sit there like, and just keep watching this stuff, because this stuff will make you feel like you got the symptoms, I, I, I know I had to like, you know, double take, because I was like, man, my, my throat hurting, I'm coughing, you know, and find out it's allergy season, you know, so, it, this stuff do get to you to a point where you got to think like, hey, man, we're going to sit here and think that it's a part two or part three of this. It's, a, it's so much rumors. It's so much, but it is about depopping the the earth. is is 7.7 billion people on earth right now, right? 1% of people, that's 7, 7 million if we do the math, right? That's still a lot of people, you know, and if we look at the situation that goes on, why is, why people are living longer than years has passed? Why are people living longer? The, the health care has changed, has advanced. People are living longer. So when people are living longer, these billionaires get irritated, you know, these you got old billionaires. I'm, I don't I don't get why. I don't see how this, how somebody turned this into a business, really. I don't see how they turned the war into a business, how they turned a lot of stuff into a business. But, man, this is, this is crazy. I don't, you know, you sit here and think like, man, we, we have to get better, man. We got to get better, you know, as, as a human being, we have to be better, you know. So we got to get better what we do best, you know.